I've been wanting to visit the Museum of Osteology for years now, and my family finally got the chance to go when we were visiting friends in Oklahoma. This museum is the only skeleton museum in America and is family owned and operated, which is incredible considering they have some of the rarest species found in the world. The museum focuses on exploring the form and function of the skeletal system of various species. As a veterinarian with my own oddities collection, this was right up my alley. Right in the front entrance, they have dermistid beetles on display, cleaning some skeletons. For those that have watched my skeleton cleaning videos, these are the same type of bugs that I use. Once you walk through the grand entrance, you're greeted by the most colossal skeletons hanging from the ceiling, including this humpback whale. I found the human skeletons fascinating, especially this one that depicts severe scoliosis, and these others that show different conditions such as dwarfism. It was so fun to be able to look back into our evolutionary past and see skulls of ancient hominids. The exhibits were grouped in themes such as those comparing different primates and others depicting marine mammals. As a vet, I loved being able to see the differences between dog breeds, skeletons, and skulls. I was also impressed with all the different felines they had, ranging from the tiniest house cat to lions and tigers. The most impressive skeletons were probably the giant ones taking up center stage. I read that the humpback whale took over two years to be clean and articulated. They also had giants such as a rhino, elephant, grizzly bear, giraffe, and hippo. I absolutely love the turtle exhibit as it busts the myth that turtles can climb out of their shells. The shells are actually part of their skeletal system. It was even crazier to see the turtle that was deformed due to pollution and getting caught in a piece of trash. They also have some rare species such as gharials and giant salamanders. There were some other impressive exhibits that included snakes, marsupials, bats, armadillos, rodents, and marine mammals. One of my other favorite exhibits was the comparative avian collection. As a vet that works extensively with birds, it was amazing to see all the different adaptations that make each species unique. From birds that stood as tall as I am, to parrots with formidable beaks, to hawks with sharp talons and the unique beaks of flamingos and toucans, they really had quite the collection. Many of the native birds are protected by the Migratory Bird Act, so you'll never see their skeletons in a private collection unless someone has a special permit. Seeing the hoofstock brought me back to my vet school days when we were learning about equine and bovine anatomy. At the time, I didn't quite appreciate what I was learning, but now that I'm not being tested on it, I find it much more fascinating and enjoyable. The museum is powered by Skulls Unlimited, which is known as one of the world's leading supplies of osteological specimens. I've bought a few of my own specimens from them. The workshop where all the magic happens is right next door, but it's not open to the public. Not only are specimens available for collectors, but they're invaluable for veterinarians and human physicians to study anatomy. It was finally time to end our visit to Oklahoma City and drive a few hours back to our home in Dallas, Texas. But before we left, I had to say goodbye to a little celebrity. The museum is home to the famous rescue cat, Sir Indiana Bones, who even has his own Instagram. I was lucky enough to meet this office cat when he was lounging around the gift shop. We had so much fun at the Museum of Osteology and can't wait to go back.